Hey everybody, my name's Annette. Welcome to my channel, Every Box Matters, where I want to encourage you to pack a shoe box and share the love of Jesus with kids around the world through Operation Christmas Child. Well, today, the day has finally come. It's Christmas in July for me, and I'm working on packing up my shoe boxes. Now, um, later on today, hopefully my mom and sister will come over and I'll do some video with them helping me. But right now, I just wanted to show you how I've got things set up and, and how I do this. Um, I've shown you on a previous video that I keep all my stuff in um, boxes, like separated by age groups. And so what I've done is brought those boxes out here and then I'm starting to divvy it out um, on the furniture. So let me show you what that looks like. Okay, here are my two to four year old boxes that I have. That's the tub I started with, then I got that and that in the banker box and that is all chalkboards and these are some extra bags of stuff. I also uh, did this um, a few weeks ago, I put everybody's pencil packs together and hygiene kits, and they are in bags like this according to their age um, age group. So this one is actually two to four year olds, and I have 12 in here, so I can make 12 boxes. I don't know if I have more than that or not, but I'm going to do at least 12 boxes of the two to four year olds. And then my hygiene kits are down there at the bottom, and I'll get them out in a minute. And so then what I do, like here's a couch. This is going to be three piles, one, two, three. That is something I just got yesterday. I got a two pack of blankets for like a dollar or so at the thrift store. Um, and I'm gonna separate those so they can be baby doll blankets. So I gotta fix those up. Oh, and all these dresses. I just got these dresses um, yesterday at Walmart for $2, normally 10, so that was exciting. So anyway, three boxes will go there, two boxes on the coffee table. I have a chair here I'm gonna make a pile, a chair here I'll make a pile. The couch will make three piles. And then in the back of my living room over there will be two more piles. So that makes 12 piles. I'm going to just get my stuff out of here and start separating it out into the piles. And, you know, see what I got. So I'll show you that in a minute too. Okay, here's my stacks. I've made piles of the stuff I had in each little section. And then, and I still have some leftover stuff. I realized I, I bought plenty of stuff this year. But that's going to go to church or filler packs is what I'll do with the extras. Um, so I have all these piles ready to go. And what I'm fixing to do now is take a shoe box and go sit over there and pack them up. And see how much of that actually fits in there. Just to show you real quick what's in most every pile. I have a coloring book of some kind, water bottle, cute little hat, pop it, purse, and that's a plain paper drawing pad. We've got some stickers, little people, a little book, a doll. Some are the harder dolls, the My Sweet Love, anyway, and then some are these. I have cookie cutters to go with the Play-Doh, a little puzzle, some kind of little stuffed animal, a couple of sheets of stickers. The hygiene kit, which for my two to four year olds is a wipe, a washcloth, comb, and toothbrush. Um, a chalkboard, two little necklaces, a fun little, this is like a ribbon thing from Dollar Tree. And on the back of these, I put Galatians 5 1. It is for freedom that Christ is. No, 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 no. Is that the right one? I think it's it is for freedom that Christ has set us free, if I remember right. It's one about freedom. And then this one, um, some crayons for everybody, a couple of pairs of socks, a little princess crown headband, um, chalk to go with the chalkboard, jingle bell bracelet, the whistle, the little um, baby blanket that I just got, and my little note for everybody. Just put in there real quick who we are and a little Christmas thing at the top, a little backpack, the dress I showed you earlier, and the pencil kit for everybody. It has these funny faces on the front. And every one of them has six pencils, the glue stick, the scissors, a couple of sharpeners, and erasers. So, all that hopefully will go in each box. If not, it will be some of that stuff. But that's the main idea in most of them. So now I'm going to get to packing. A minute ago when I showed you everything, I showed you cookie cutters for Play-Doh, but I didn't have the Play-Doh in here. So right before I started packing, I realized I needed to get those out. So they have Play-Doh now. 
Okay, just uh, want to show you real quick my first box. I'm not going to unbox it. Just show you that out of that whole pile, uh, this stuff won't fit in there. This is what made it. And um, the other pile I showed you earlier didn't have sunglasses, so this one did. And that takes up a little more space. So, anyway, just do the best I can, get what I can, and then these other things can be filler or, like I said, go to the church for those boxes up there. Okay, a little peek at box number two. This is what I did get in. This is what I did not get in. So, not the water bottle this time, but I did get this little purse in there. I really think that's fun. And this one does have sunglasses also. And then, you know, a few other goodies down there and below it. Stuck in everything as best I could. So, anyway, there's box number two. Box number three. That did not make it. And this is what we got here. Just a little peek. But it's nice and full. Certainly full. Little peek at box number four. This one has this kind of baby doll. So I put her in, got all this stuff in, goodies. Does have sunglasses with a softer case. Put the little necklaces in there. I did not have a water bottle to go in this one. Um, anyway, those things did not make it. But it's a good little box. Another thing I wanted to show you with this little doll, I made sure that the um, coloring books keep her face free because I was at the processing center and one of the dolls like this, it was a baby doll like this or a different one with plastic anyway she was face up and there was a thing on top of her that was like the note from the church and the ink got on her forehead and it's messed it up and we could not get it off no matter several things we tried but you know we're at the processing center tried wipes and alcohol it wouldn't come off so tip for your baby dolls if they're plastic heads try to keep them clear of ink type things but that particular one was um fresh printed ink from like the note from the church so maybe these would be okay but just going to make sure and keep her head free so she's just on the cardboard so just um just something to think about box number five this one did get play-doh and a stuffed animal because i did not put in the purse or the book the little people i just changed out something else i had one of these little banner things and the soft glasses case that helped there so that's just a little preview for her and she'll be able to close and keep the little head free so alrighty, box number five box number six this did not make it in there all that but i did do this a little more closest to a theme because it's got some purples in it the purple girl purple purse and this one has some purple shoes so i stuck them in there um anyway basically the rest of the stuff's about the same socks and all that under there but anyway yay got one more done that's box number six making progress a little peek at box number seven i got the hat on top and squeezed in all this stuff it's not as organized as i wish it could be but i could get more stuff in here separating you know, just using things, filling in all the nooks and crannies with the uh, necklaces, the whistle, the Play-Doh stuff, the girls, and that kind of thing. But got a lot of stuff in there. And this did not go in. Those things. I have some shoes, but maybe I'll find them in another box. But that's for this one. All right, box number eight. Pretty much stuffed full. I'm going to lay the hat on top. I think I can get it in there. And then the... Uh, one thing this does have a pair of shoes too on the side and this dress that goes with this box is purple so i thought that would be good matches those and i like this to match it and i did put in the water bottle this time and stuff it with some stuff and got this doll so anyway these things over there did not go in did not get that purple purse but i wanted to get the water bottle pretty much i either usually get the water bottle or the sunglasses with the case or the purse because those are bigger items and they're kind of hard you know they're not very flexible so anyway, good little box for box number eight. Okay, box number nine. Got a full box. Got the hat on top. Got all these goodies. When you open it up, these things did not go in there. I took out the sunglasses case because it took up all this space. Without doing the sunglasses, I could get in the Play-Doh and the little people also. And um, just got in a few more things better. And just want to do it different. Um, pop it the bracelet the jingle bell thing all that so it's a good full little box and the hat goes right on top still and that'll work so very good on to the next one all right here is box number 10 i uh, did not do the purse 
the water bottle or play-doh but i did get in a hat and the doll stuffed animal little people and all the other little goodies are down there so nice full box that's number 10 two more to go okay this is box number 11 got the doll on top and these shoes from earlier i managed to put them in here and then i did put in a water bottle and some little people and everything else that's in there did not do okay that's another water bottle so the things that really didn't go in were the puzzle that's extra that stuffed animal instead the book hat the purse but nice full box got the water bottle and all that stuff and the dress and school supplies hygiene kit everything else under there chalk chalkboard all righty one more to go okay this is box number 12 Got the hat on top and the doll and i did get the water bottle in this time with the poppet got little people in there everything like that um did not get those things in that but it's nice and full and it closes and it'll be good so it's 12 boxes in one day yay i'm so excited two to four year old girls Okay, so there's my 12 two to four year old boxes that I did today on one afternoon. And it took a few hours, but I was interrupted and did different things in between. But anyway, that's my process for doing a bunch of boxes. And I hope it gives you some ideas. And remember, no matter how many boxes you pack, one or 100, every box matters.